welcome back to the blog and i'm glad that it's the, the next year and we can actually start to talk about some really serious topics uh we've been working really hard on the new project so that you know that's why we didn't do the blog during the uh, last part of december and uh we just have so much to talk to you about first remember that uh, we're property adjustment national association and uh, we are the number one and the only training association in the country and we're her quite awesome at what we do so if you're looking to become a public adjuster then we can help you and we can help you not only do that but to run your own firm and to actually be doing viral marketing amongst the natives as we would say and having them coming to you in uh, leaps and bounds now uh, to, to find us, you go to adjustingschool.com. That's www.adjustingschool.com. And uh, put your information in. We'll, we'll talk and we'll see how we can help you. Now, um, the topic today is, uh, let's see, what is the topic for today? Oh, uh, yeah. ACV valuation. Now, one of the things that you have to understand is that um, what they use it for is for the ability to do what is known as a holdback. Holdback is when they'll be giving you all the money that you determine minus what they consider actual cash value, okay? So that they can then keep some back for themselves and make interest off it and everything else. Uh, you know, they're, they're really nice people. You know how they are, the insurance companies. Here's the thing though. They, they're gonna try to do a blanket across the board to say, well, it's 20% uh, depreciation. How can anything that's this, this multiple different types of materials and, and parts of your house. How can they all be exactly the same? Because they don't, they don't deteriorate exactly the same. In fact, nothing actually deteriorates exactly the same. So you call them on that and you say, look, you know, if you're either going to do, if you're going to do uh, depreciation, then you're going to do it the proper way. By the way, in the site, we give you depreciation of multiple different things so that you can actually determine. Not so much that you're going to be determining what the value, what the depreciation is, but you're keeping the insurance companies honest. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Main thing is here is to make sure that, uh, you're, you know, if they're going to say they're going to do it, then they got to do the work. If they don't do the work, they can't take it. And you let them know that. That you can't just do something blanket across across the whole thing. You've got to either do the work and prove it, or you can't do it at all. Okay. And uh, the next thing I'm going to be discussing for next for the next blog will give you more of that insight. Don't worry about being on Mondays. We're not sure exactly, but it will be once a week that you will find the new blog on there. We're not going to be. If you want, we're going to be trying to put up a, a sign up scenario so that you can uh, contact us and. Uh, let us know that you're watching the blog and then every time we're going to do set up a blog we'll send out a blast email so that you'll know that the new blog is on if you want to know that we'll be putting that on the site sometime in the not too distant future right now we're a little bit bogged down with all the stuff that we're doing but um, uh, this new uh, project we're working on is just so exciting i mean think about it where else in the world can you actually do a ten thousand dollar claim and pull out seven grand out of it legally morally honestly and making major changes to everybody involved so um one other thing about actual cash value is that it's you know what it is is it's the, the true definition is uh replacement costs minus depreciation okay and if you are going to be as a public adjuster you can't take you know if you if you get them in an agreement that's say ten thousand dollars and then there's uh a uh 20% depreciation that they kind of worked out of, uh, which would be, you know, $2,000. When you collect your money, you're only, you've only received 8,000. So you can't take your percentage, whatever it might be out of the 8,000. You have to, I mean, out of the 10,000 that you got them, you have to do it out of the 8,000 that you received. Otherwise you're breaking the law and we don't want to ever do that. Right? So, Remember, we're from Property Adjustment National Association. There's so much more information about these particular topics inside the site, but I wanted to give you an insight about what you're looking at and some understanding of it. So know that we are really serious about giving you the right information. Again, this is Mark Hauser from Property Adjustment National Association. And remember, you go to adjustingschool.com.
Can't wait to talk to you. Adjustingschool.com. My phone number, personal phone number is 215-499-8629. And you can contact me between 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, not including holidays, and I'm there for you. And we're Eastern Standard Time, by the way. Take care.